All right, this is a quick uh, little demo of the digital wave shaping abilities of the WMD Geiger counter. The basic setup for this is we've got a sine wave coming off of the IntelliGel Dixie over here, and uh, one of these outputs is going into the uh, Dave Jones O tool up here. You can see the red sine wave on the scope there, and if I change the pitch, which you can't hear right now, you can see it changing on the scope. Uh, it's also running into the input of the Geiger counter. And the output of the Geiger counter is running into my sound card, so you'll be getting direct sound, not just camera mic sound, because I know how much fanboys hate that shit. Um, and it's also running into channel 2 of the O tool. And you can't see it right now because it's turned all the way down, but if I turn up the level, you can see there's our sort of sine wave, even with no wave shaping or grunginess or anything else applied. Um, there's a little bit of tone shaping going on with this control here. Uh, but you can see there's a change in the waveform. It's a little bit quieter, uh, and it's a little bit rounded off at the top. And if I increase the gain on the preamp, immediately there's a change. It goes from being a sine to being more like a square pulse wave that has a bit of a sawtooth slant at the top and then drops straight down. These controls, uh, the preamp gain and the tone control, are interactive with each other and also with the other sections of the Geiger counter. Uh, after the preamp and the tone control, I'll get this back to something more like a pure sign there, uh, there's the sample rate. produces these sort of fun warbly looking waveforms, but if you get it to close of a uh, multiple of a Nyquist frequency, it will slow down and sort of become more stationary. It's hard to dial in exactly. There we go. That's as close to a stationary wave as I'm going to get right now. That sample rate reduction and of course nice crispy bit rate reduction which when you turn it all the way counterclockwise you get nothing at the output. These are the sections of the Geiger counter that most people tend to focus on. Most people treat it as a bit crusher, sample rate reduction device, but it's so much more than that. And this is supposed to give you this little video here, a an idea of uh, what's what's capable uh, or what what you can get out of it. <coughs> so. Uh, this section down here, the wavetable and the wavetable select knob, are where the action happens. Um, as I turn through the various wavetables, the first ones are rather sort of vanilla, but you see it jumping. There we've got a sort of Batman waveform. At this point, I'm going to assume that you know that this is a sine wave and just take out the uh, input, change the trigger over, and then this way we'll be able to um, just focus on what the Geiger counter looks like. There we go. <laughs> okay, so this is the output of the Geiger counter. But uh, what's cool is that, so you can see the, you know, this isn't your standard sign, but if you start messing with the preamp, you can get a lot of variation just from touching the Just 
took the preamp out of the signal path. And you can see just how gnarly some of these waveforms are. But as I said, the uh, preamp and the tone control are interactive with the stuff that's going on in the wave table. I just uh, started playing the Dixie a little bit. I've got a Make Noise Renee that you can't see uh, that's off screen that I can touch and change the pitch of. Unfortunately, the tone control is not voltage controllable. It would be awesome if it was, because it is fun. <laughs> So there's a little bit of an insight into the inner workings of the Geiger counter. Uh, as you can see, you can change a simple sine wave into something horrific uh, by running it through the preamp and then through the uh, wavetables here. And what that does is let you turn a simple vanilla oscillator like the Dixie, which, you know, while an achievement in its own right, it's, I'm just getting a simple sine wave from it, turn it into, into something more like a piston Honda. 